ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली ऑगस्ट 19 2024 बाप दादा मधुबन वर्जन सब से बाबा ऐसे शब्द मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन कंटिन्यू टू इंबाइब दिस नॉलेज एंड बाय द एंड यू विल बी इक्वल टू द फादर एंड हैव डाइजेस्टेड ऑल फादर स्ट्रेंथ so baba says <clears throat> imbibe the knowledge and with the help of knowledge we are getting the power and with the power of you can say baba we can make ourselves more stronger question with the awareness of which pairs of words can you become spinners of the discourse of self realization so baba is telling two two words that is pair of the words in which there is a whole secret of the discuss of self realization answer rise and fall that is the rise of the human being and fall of the human mankind that is you can say again whole ladder that is a cycle because cycle is included in the ladder sato pradhan and tamo pradhan we become sato pradhan from tamo pradhan and tamo pradhan to sato pradhan the temple of shiva and the brothel temple of shiva is the golden age and temple of bra- we can say brothel sorry no question of temple the brothel is you can say ravan's kingdom tamo pradhan world if you have these pairs of words in your awareness you will become spinners of the discourse of self realization you children have now understood this knowledge accurate initially we were not understanding this knowledge because we were not knowing about the knowledge there is no knowledge on the path of devotion they simply continue to tell you things to please your heart nothing else why they are telling the things to please our hearts the path of devotion is the path of is the path to please your heart om shanti <coughs> the father sits here and explains to you sweetest spiritual children the father says to you children you were so elevated so baba is making you can say ourself a war that war we, what we were so elevated this is a play about your rise and fall it is how in your intellect that you were so elevated and pure you have now become so low you go in front of the deity idols and say you are high and we are low so baba is reminding what we were singing previously you didn't know that you are the ones who become the highest one high and then the lowest of the low the father now tells you sweet children you were so elevated and pure and you have now become so impure those who are pure are said to be high that is called wiseless world high means in characters by us as in divine qualities in our powers and they are called deities and that world is wiseless world your kingdom existed there and you are now establishing that again so we are establishing that kingdom for us only not for anybody else because it is a law of karma that whatever we are planting a seed we will get the fruit so baba is you can say planting the planting the seed of the new world through us so we will get the fruit of that the father simply gives you a signal what is the signal you were residents of the highest temple of shiva the golden age then after half the cycle half a cycle of taking birth after birth you fell into vice and become impure and vicious because birth after birth we lost our power and because of losing the power of purity we become impure <clears throat> you remained vicious for half a cycle and you now have to become viceless and sato pradhan have to become it is a law of nature everything from old to new and new to old 
So Baba says you have to become voiceless and Sato Pradhan. You just have to remember two words. Baba is not giving any difficulty to us, only two words. This is now the Tamo Pradhan world. Lakshmi and Narayan are signs of the Sato Pradhan world. It is a remembrance of that time. It is a matter of 5,000 years. Your kingdom was in a Sato Pradhan Bharat. Bharat was the very highest and it is now the lowest. It has taken you 84 births to become vicious from vices. 84 births. Although your degree continue to decrease there too, it would still be said to be completely voiceless. Sri Krishna would be said to be completely voiceless. He was beautiful and has now become ugly. You are sitting here and so it should remain in your intellects. What should remain in our intellects? That you were the masters of the world of Shivalaya. There was no other religion, only one religion. And that was original eternal deity religion. There was just our kingdom and it then decreased by two degrees gradually. The degrees gradually decreased and became two degrees lower in the silver age. Then eight degrees lower in the copper age. And then almost 16 degrees lower in the iron age and world. You later become vicious and dirty while gradually falling. This is called vice vicious one. People continue to chalk in this river of poison. There you used to live in an ocean of milk. You have now understood the history and geography of the world and also the story of your 84 births. We were viceless when we were in their kingdom. There was the pure kingdom and that was called full heaven. Then in the silver age, it becomes semi-heaven. Everything goes in cycle. You have this in your intellects. The father himself comes and explains to you the secrets of the beginning, middle and end of the world. We lost everything, knowledge, power, purity. So Baba has to come and we call him. So he came. Why? To give the secrets of the beginning, middle and end of the world. Ravan came in the middle period. At the end, this vicious world is to be destroyed. Then, in order to go back to the beginning, you have to become pure. Consider yourself to be souls. For that, consider yourself to be souls and constantly remember me alone. The same versions of Srimad Bhagavad Gita in devotion to. Do not consider yourself to be bodies. bodies. On the path of devotion, you promised what we promised, Baba. When you come, I will belong to you alone. Souls speak together to Father. Sri Krishna is not the father of all souls. Only in corporeal Sri Baba is the father of souls. You receive a limited inheritance from a limited father. And a Bharat receives, and Bharat receives the unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father, that is Bharat means whole world, unlimited world. So Baba says, we are getting the unlimited inheritance from the unlimited Baba. <clears throat> this is why the golden age is called Sivalaya. Siv Baba came and established the deity religion. This should be constantly remembered. It is a matter of happiness. We are now going to back to Sivalaya once again. When someone dies, people say that that person has gone to heaven. However, no one rarely goes there. Nobody can go there because the world is here only. When there is a brothel, it cannot be Sivalaya. So Baba said, nobody can go there till Baba comes and establish the new world through us. All of those things are lies of the path of devotion to make your hearts happy. You are the ones who will truly go to heaven. There are no diseases, etc. there. You remain constantly cheerful there. 
the father makes everything so simple that it is as though he explains to little children no matter where you live outside you can claim a status that is wherever you are living once one can do seven days course we can claim a status by living in bharat or anywhere any no can corner of the world purity is the first and main thing in this keep your food and drink pure for making ourselves pure our dharana in food and drink is very 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 important do people ever bhog of cigarettes or tobacco etc to the deities the basic question do they ever offer bhog of eggs or tobacco etc in front in front of the granth they consider the granth as though it is the body of guru gobind singh they have so much regard for the granth six consider that to be as a sacred as the body of their guru sikh punjab however guru nanak did not sit and write the granth nanak simply incarnated all the founding father they have incarnated they have not taken the birth in the beginning and later on they taken a birth rebirth the number of sikh grew and they later wrote the granth etc after the one many then continued to come into the sikh religion guru nanak dev ji ke then many came those were become the you can say founding you can say the religion in a very firm way previously the granth used to be very small and was hand written they now consider the gita to be a form of sri krishna just like they consider we also consider just as there is granth of guru nanak so the gita of sri krishna is remember they continue to say <coughs> what they say here? god sri krishna speaks that is called ignorance only the one supreme father the supreme soul has this knowledge salvation is only received through the gita only the father has the knowledge of that there is day through knowledge and night through devotion the father now says souls have met souls have to be made pure so effort has to be made for that without that nobody can be pure so baba says make the effort such a powerful storms of maya come that this knowledge completely flies away you are not then able to relate this knowledge to others lost the first vice heresy is you a great deal and the base of that vice is body consciousness so body consciousness heresy is too much everybody is attracted to body consciousness it is that that takes time i must say it takes a great time to relieve from that vices actually it is a matter of liberation in life in just a second as soon as a child is born he becomes a master you recognize that shiv baba has come and you claim your right to the inheritance the gita was spoken by shiv baba he himself said constantly remember me alone later i sorry i enter this ordinary body that is dadas body shri krishna he is not ordinary when he takes birth there is lighting all around there is a lot of impact and this is why shri krishna he still remembered today however all the scriptures etc belong to the path of devotion in english they are called philosophy any religion any matter any knowledge about the religion about devotion his philosophy only the spiritual father can give this spiritual knowledge that is not a spiritual knowledge he himself says i am your spiritual father i am the ocean of knowledge you children are studying with the father you are also imbibing this knowledge then at the time at the end you will become like the father everything depends on how much you imbibe so to become equal to father we have to imbibe knowledge means to put knowledge in our practical life 
you will develop that strength by having remembrance of the father remembrance is called the power of sharpness there is also a difference in swords one sword can be bought for 100 rupees and another can be bought for 3 to 4000 rupees baba has experience in this dada a lot of regard is given to swords so much regard is given to the sword of guru gobind you children also need to have the strength of yoga there also has to power in the sword of knowledge <clears throat> only when there is that power will people quickly understand you continue to make effort according to the drama <clears throat> the more you remember the father the more your sins will be cut away with that remembrance the purified father is showing you methods he still then come after a cycle he will then so he will then come after a cycle and give you this knowledge in the same way so baba say cycle is repeated drama is there drama is for the past and for the bigger way so baba says it according to the drama the more you remember the father the more your sins will be cut away with that remembrance the purified father is showing you methods he will then come after cycle and give this knowledge in the same way he will make this one renounce everything and make him his chariot even after the cycle you children experience such a pull there that you all came running baba is reminding oh manli there is the attraction of the father now you also have to become complete like that you will become that number wise a kingdom is being established you have remembered the world cycle from the beginning of the golden age to the end of the iron age it is now the confluence the father definitely has to come to make you pure pure means sato pradhan alloy has gradually continued to be mixed into you now how can that alloy be removed when souls are real the jewelry is also real that is the bodies are beautiful as the gold so the jewelry same way as the soul so the body when souls become false their bodies also become impure even this one used to bow down and pray before having this knowledge of brahma dada he used to keep a very big oil painting of lakshmi and narayan on a gaddi he would remember that one with a lot of love he didn't remember anyone else if his thoughts wandered anywhere else outside he would slap himself himself why is the mind wandering why do i not receive a vision he was on the path of devotion but where did have a vision of vishnu he didn't become narayan simply by vision nobody can become that effort definitely has to be made the aim and objective is standing just ahead that is lakshmi and narayan the one whose non living images have been created used to exist in the living form it is a proof of that thing the father has come to make you pure he changes you from an ordinary human into narayan you too used to be in their kingdom you are now making effort once again to become like that and so you have to follow them very well brahma is not called a deity to call vishnu a deity is okay people don't know anything they say guru brahma guru vishnu guru shankar guru devo maheshwar they are saying it. now who is guru he is vishnu they continue to call everyone a guru they say salutation to the supreme soul shiva they call this one a guru and that one the supreme soul they are not going calling them as a guru they are see as a sat guru they are not calling as a shiva as a deity to because he is the supreme soul parmatma so they are telling parmatma the father is the greatest of all we are studying this with him in order to teach it to others 
whatever the Sadhguru explains to you, you then explain that to others. Baba says, spread the knowledge, donate these wells of knowledge. You would not say that your Guru is your father and teacher. No. Therefore, you should have all of this knowledge in your intellects. We were in Sivalaya, that is golden age, and we are now in the brothel. We now have to go to Sivalaya once again. Although they say that they merged into Brahm element or that the light merged into the light, souls are imperishable. Now, the souls cannot be merged. If souls merge, then what will happen? It will go away, miss destroyed. So no question of merging. Each one of you has your own part recorded in you. All of you are actors and you have to play your own parts. Those can never be erased. Parts can never be erased from the soul. Because it is printed in the form of sanskars, in form of habits, in form of results, in form of characters. So it cannot be erased. All the souls of the whole world have to play their parts. Not only we, everybody. It is as though shooting is taking place now. A new shooting is shooting of the drama, shooting of the film. A new is a fresh. However, this eternal shooting has already taken place. Up till now, whatever is present, sorry, whatever has come, it has gone. It is shoot. It will come again. And every cycle it is repeated. The history and geography of the world repeat. There is wonderful star is sparkling. That is sparkling, sparkling in the center of the forehead. That is soul. Source of unlimited light. Source of unique light. It is never erased. Previously you did not have this knowledge. Wonder of the world. Your hearts become happy on hearing the word heaven. It isn't the golden age now. It is now the iron age. Therefore, rebirth also takes place in the iron age. You all definitely have to go there, but impure souls cannot go there. You children are now becoming pure with the power of yoga. Only God the Father establishes the pure world. Then Ravan makes it into hell that is visible. People born an effigy of Raman. They say that that has continued eternally, but no one knows when it began. Because they speak of hundreds of thousands of years, it cannot be divided into half and half. Because they are telling golden age four times bigger than, or you can say larger than, or you can say higher than iron age world. So cannot be you can say equivalent half and half. They say that the iron has to iron age is to last for 40,000 years. So people are in the extreme darkness. It is very difficult for them to awaken from the sleep of ignorance. They just do not wake up. So we are giving the knowledge, powering the dwells of knowledge on them. That was a very, very difficult. It is now the confluence age when the father comes and shows you the way to become pure only at this time in whole Kalpa. When you become pure, the pure world will have been established and this impure world destroyed. The world is now so large. In the golden age, the world will be very small. You now definitely have to conquer Maya and become pure. The father says, what he says? Maya he is very powerful. It is in your become it is in your becoming pure that she causes many obstacles. Where obstacles come when we taking a vow of purity. You maintain courage to become pure, but just look at the condition that Maya makes you become. Such punches sorry, she punches you and knocks you down. And we all have experience of this. So everything you had earned is finished. You then have to make a lot of effort. Some fall and then don't even show their faces. So Baba say, don't do that thing. Always continue with Baba. Otherwise, Maya, we, say, we have a complete hold on us. So they cannot claim such a high status. Full effort has to be made. You should not fail. 
This is why some even have a pure marriage. Sannyasi say that it is impossible for a couple to get married and remain pure because they were not able to do that thing. So how they can believe that it is possible? The father says it is possible because there is a lot of attainment. If you become pure in this one final birth, you will receive a kingdom in heaven. Even sannyasis become, you can say, pure by attainment only. For that attainment, lot of attainment, they are not getting attainment. That was a devotion simply. They are telling, they are not experienced. So they are only get not getting, but they are telling that we got something. So Baba says, that attainment is nothing. If you become pure in this one final birth, you will receive a kingdom of heaven. That is attainment. Can you not remain pure in this one birth for such a huge attainment? Children say, Baba, we will definitely remain pure. Six, sorry, six will still wear a bracelet of purity. Bracelet is a symbolic representation of purity. There is no need to tie a thread, etc. here. This is a matter of the intellect. The father says, constantly remember me alone. Daughters relate this knowledge to many, but it doesn't sit in the intellects of those important people. Important people, those who are coming for inauguration of the center or you can say exhibition. The father says, first of all, explain to them very clearly. All of this pure from him. Sorry, all of these are the children of Prajapita Brahma. What we have to explain? We are receiving the inheritance from Sri Baba. We have to become pure from impure. The father now says, constantly remember me alone. No one else can say this. First of all, you have to make this sit in their intellects. What we have to make sit in their intellects? Bharat was viceless and it is now vicious. So how can it become viceless again? God speaks. Constantly remember me alone. This is the we can say, only clue to make the Bharat or self pure. That's all. Even if you just say this much, that is great fortune. Constantly remember me alone. However, you want to be able to say even this much, you will forget. Baba explained that the father has carried out the inauguration and that you instruments are doing the rest. <clears throat> Baba explained that the father has carried out the inauguration and that you instruments are doing the rest, the rest of the things. They are doing the inauguration of the branches, inauguration of the centers, exhibitions, etc. The foundation has been laid but service station are now being inaugurated. This is something that applies to the Gita. It also says in the Gita, O oh child, conquer lust and you will become the conqueror of the world for 21 months. Even if you don't become this, at least explain it to others. There are many who uplift others, but whom they then fall down themselves but who then fall down. So many, you can say, Baba children who run away, who you can say, given a knowledge to a lot of Baba children. So Baba said, be careful. Last is the greatest enemy. It makes you fall right down into the gutter. Only the children who conquer lust will become conquerors of the world. Achha? To the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children. Love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children's love, remembrance, good morning, and say Namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe, Mithe, Sikala De Bacho Prati. Mat Pita, Bab Dada Ka, Yad Piyar, or Good Morning, Ruhani Bab Ki, Ruhani Bacho Ko, Namaste, Ham Ruhani Bacho Ki, Ruhani Mat Pita, Bab Dada Ko, Yad Piyar, Good Morning, or Namaste, Shukriya Baba. Essence for Dana number one. Keep all your attainments in front of you in this final birth and definitely become pure. 
do not be defeated by any obstacles of Maya. Baba said, be careful. Point number two, keep your aim and objective in front of you and make full effort. Just as Father Brahma made effort and changed from an ordinary man into Narayan, so follow him and become seated on the throne. Make effort to make your soul Satobrada. Today's blessing, may you be a hero actor with all rights actor hero actor with all rights and overcome all problems as though you are playing games how to do just considering ourselves as an actor and playing our games then and then we can have the part of hero, hero actor with all rights and overcome all problems so baba explains no matter what the situation or problems are do not be controlled by the problems but have all rights and overcome the problems in such a way that it is as though you are playing games. Games have always amusement, always you can say joy. Externally, you may have a part of crying, but you should feel inside that it is all a game, which is called the drama, and that we are hero actors in this drama. Hero actors mean those who play accurate parts. Therefore, Consider any big problem to be a game and make it light. Do not have any burdens. Slogan, constantly churn this knowledge and you will remain constantly cheerful and protected from Maya's attraction. Acha, Om Shanti.